What's up everybody, Justin Watch Movies here. I got a video for all the Funko Pops I picked up for the month of August. I got 23 Funko Pops. Now a lot of these I picked up from trades. I got some really high value Funko Pops that I ended up trading off for some Harry Potter ones I really wanted and some Power Ranger Funko Pops as well. So I would say a good majority ended up being a trade from other Funko Pops to be like one or two Funko Pops that I bought that I traded for some other ones as well. So I ended up picking some of the Harry Potter ones, Power Rangers ones, the ad icons. So let's go over there and see all the Funko Pops I picked up for the month of August 2018. The first Funko Pop here I have is the Walgreens exclusive Jason Voorhees. I had a hard time actually finding this one. I had to track down a bunch of different Walgreens shipments to get this one. They also included like the Invisible Man and some Nightmare Before Christmas Funkos, but this one is super cool. I love the mask on his head and you can see his eyes. I only have one other Jason Voorhees Funko Pop, so this one should go nice with my collection. My local Spirit Halloween store opened and this is Winifred Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. Uh, I got this one 20% off coupon, so it was pretty cheap. I'm looking for Sarah and Mary as well. They're eventually gonna call me once they get them in. They can't find them right now. They're really short staffed but this one was just sitting there and I had to get it. Next up is probably one of my favorite Funko Pops in my collection now, and that is Pikachu from Target. I was so happy that this was released. It was rumored that it was going to be released and then people thought maybe it was a fake Funko Pop, but it was actually real and it's Pikachu here. I went on the day that it was released and they were sold out immediately. And then the next week they had more in stock, so I got it. Can't wait to see more they do with this series. Hopefully some chases and some exclusives as well. But right now, I'm so happy that I have this. Next up is the Target exclusive ad icon, Captain Crunch. I ended up buying all four of the ad icons and trading three of them off for a set of Power Ranger Funko Pops. But I kept this one because it's super cool. I actually like Captain Crunch. It's a really good cereal. Next up is the new Diamond Collection uh, Edition Hot Top exclusive Funko Pop, Jack Skellington. I have all the other Diamond Edition ones, so I had to add this one to my collection. I th actually think Baymax is the newest one they'll do after this one. I definitely had to get the new Power Ranger 25th Anniversary Funko Pops. You guys know I'm a big Power Ranger fan. Here we have Jason with his unmasked Funko Pop, and I got all these other ones as well. I'll go through and show you guys them, but I'm super happy to have this one in my collection. Next up is Trini the Yellow Power Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger series. Um, rest in peace to the actress that did play Trini. Um, really great character, happy to have this one. Next we got Tommy from the Green Ranger with his uh, shield there. I wish they would have done a White Ranger one. I always know that the Green Ranger is more the popular one, but I would like to see a White Ranger one down the road. Next up is Zack, the Black Power Ranger. Here's the back, same as everything else. Really cool guy, loved him in the show. Now we have Billy, the smart guy from the Power Rangers series. I thought it was so cool growing up that his name was Billy. My brother's name was Billy too, so I think I had a special connection with this Power Ranger. And then they actually eventually had Justin, who's another blue Power Ranger down the road. And the last of the Power Rangers unmasked is Kimberly. I like that they have her headband there. Really cool. And the other Power Rangers in the set is Goldar, the villain, right-hand man to Rita Repulsa. Awesome guy. Really cool villain in the series. Hopefully they'll do more uh, villains like Scorpina, maybe some other smaller ones as well. Can't have Goldar without Lord Zed, one of the big main Power Ranger villains. Super cool. Maybe they'll do like Ivan Ooze eventually. That'd be cool. Um, but right now, this one is a really cool Funko Pop. Then you have the very first Power Ranger villain, Rita Repulsa. I actually like Rita Repulsa more than you know the movie one they did, but this one is a really iconic uh, Power Ranger villain. And a lot of detail with her headband and her suit and her staff there and her hair. Awesome detail, love this Funko Pop. Smaller Power Ranger villain is Pudgy Pig, only at GameStop exclusive. I pre-ordered this one along with the pumpkin wrapper, which should be coming in next month as well. So that's the only one I need. And then the Ultra Zord um, at Target, I'll eventually pick that one up as well. But I was surprised to see that they were gonna do this one. It's one of the well-known smaller uh, uh, villains, sorry, villains from Power Ranger. I vividly remember actually the episode as a kid, but it's got its knife there in one hand 
and then the fork in the other. Can't wait to pick up the pumpkin wrapper. The next Power Ranger one I picked up, I'm looking for this one a while, for a while now. This is the Dragon Shield Red Ranger FY exclusive. They had it in stock a while ago. I never picked it up, uh, then I just wanted it. And then I went in one day. When I got the other Power Ranger ones, they had this one. So it was a pretty good haul that day. I like that it's got his Dragon Shield there. And there's the back as well. I have the original Red Ranger that was first released in the early uh, Funko Pop days, I think like 2011, I picked that up. And I don't have the Pink Ranger, but I had these other ones as well. And the last Power Ranger Funko Pop I have is the White Tiger Zord Hot Topic exclusive six inch Funko Pop. I thought this was really gonna sell out, but it didn't. They have so many in stock there, it's crazy, but I was there like 30 minutes but I was there like 30 minutes before it opened to get in this Funko Pop, but I'm so happy to have this one. Moving on to some Harry Potter ones. I traded uh, my baby with Sam Chase Funko Pop. I got some Harry Potter ones to complete my collection. This is Harry. This is Ron Weasley from the fourth Harry Potter movie in his Yule Ball outfit. And this is from the other line as well. I got these three down here. These ones up here. I actually have all these ones in my collection now. Also included on the trade is Bellatrix Lestrange. I have the Hot Top exclusive one in her um, Azkaban outfit, but this is one from I think the fifth Harry Potter movie, Order of the Phoenix with her outfit there and her long curly hair and her wand. Also in that trade is Harry Potter and his Tri-Wizard outfit, black and red outfit there with his Harry Potter, with his Hogwarts logo there and his glasses in the back with um, the other Funko Pops in that line. Got two more that I got for that trade. Albus Dumbledore. This is the new Dumbledore from the third movie. Um, the first Dumbledore actor played in the first two movies and passed away. This is the new one. A nice long beard tied there with his wand and his glasses. Really cool Funko Pop. Been looking for this one for a while. Then the last one I got is Hermione Granger in her Yule Ball outfit. Love this one. Nice earrings there. I wish they would do Harry Potter in his Yule Ball outfit eventually, but now I have all these ones in this series in my collection. The next two Funko Pops I got are some Disney ones, and that's Hook and TikTok. This is from the Disney Treasure Box at Hot Topic. I did not see this one until I opened it. I actually unboxed it on my channel. This one is so cool. One of my favorite Funko Pops in my collection now. This one is awesome. And the last Funko Pop I have here is the Splash Mountain Ride. This is a Disney Parks exclusive. This one actually I was worried I was not going to get, but I bought it on OfferUp for a little bit above um, the price that it was in stores, but, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, this is, I guess number 47 or something, the Funko Pop Rides. I love the background here. I do wish that this Funko Pop Ride did have Briar Fox in it and with um, Briar Bear and Briar Rabbit. That would have been really cool to have, but this one I'm so happy to have in my collection. Splash Mountain is one of the coolest rides at Disneyland. It's a ride that I have to go on every single time I'm at Disneyland, but um, they only had this one in the stores in Disneyland. I guess they um, put it online a couple days after and immediately sold out, but I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Um, I have the Indiana Jones ride as well from the Disney Parks exclusive that I went actually down to Disneyland and bought it not for the release, but I was just happened to be in Disneyland and they had it, but I'll add this one to my Disney Park exclusives. So you guys have everything I picked up for the month of August 2018. I actually think it's more than 23, which I said earlier in the video, I think more like 25, I'll have to double check. But comment down below with everything that you picked up for the month of August. I love to watch Funko Pop videos. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.